Hello and welcome to Philosophy Vibe, the channel where we discuss and debate different philosophical ideas. Today we're going to be focusing on some epistemology and looking into the theory of justified true belief. Interesting. Now, epistemology is the philosophical study of knowledge. It looks into the very nature of knowledge. What is knowledge and how can it be defined? The justified true belief theory was devised as an answer to the philosophy of epistemology. In this video, we shall explain what justified true belief is, and we will look into the objection raised against the theory known as the Gettier problem. Excellent. So, justified true belief has been widely accepted as the criteria for knowledge, some say as far back as the works of Plato. When looking into the nature of knowledge, one can be said to know something or have knowledge of something if it is justified true belief, meaning someone has a belief, is justified in having that belief, and that belief is actually true. So let's say I know X. I have a belief in X. I have justification in believing in X, meaning my belief in X is well supported based on good evidence and reason, and X is in fact true. This would classify as my knowledge of X. Can you frame this in a specific example? Okay, so let's say I have knowledge that there is a tree at the bottom of my road. Yes. This can only be considered knowledge if it meets the justified true belief criteria. So, I have a belief that there is a tree at the bottom of my road. Now, I have seen this tree with my own eyes. I have seen it at different times of the day for months on end. Other people have also seen this tree and have discussed it with me. So then, I am justified in having this belief. The belief that there is a tree at the bottom of my road is perfectly justified. And finally, the belief I have is true. There is a tree at the bottom of my road. If we went now, the tree would be there. Or if we got live images via satellite of the road, we would see the tree. This then becomes knowledge. It is knowledge because my belief is justified and true. I see. Take out any of the criteria and it does not become knowledge. You could have a belief and it could be true, but if it's not justified, it is not knowledge, just a guess. For example, I have a belief there is a tree at the bottom of my road. And the reason is, is because I saw a tree there 10 years ago, but I haven't traveled to the bottom of my road since. Let us say it is true, the tree is still there, my belief is true, but my belief was not justified. In 10 years, the tree could have been chopped down. My belief was not justified, it was just a guess. So even though it is true, my belief is not knowledge. Yes, I understand. Likewise, even if your belief is justified but false, this would obviously not be knowledge. Let's say I saw the tree two minutes ago, left the scene, and it was immediately cut down. My belief that there is a tree at the bottom of the road is entirely justified, but it is false, and so it is not knowledge. Yes, that makes sense. So the only way we can be said to know something is if we have a belief, we are justified in having this belief, and this belief is in fact true. Only then can we say we have true knowledge. This makes perfect sense and it is a reasonable and logical approach to epistemology. However, when we dig a little deeper, we do find problems with the justified true belief approach. Explain. So now I want to bring up the Gettier problem. This problem was named after the philosopher Edmund Gettier, who came up with some scenarios in a 1963 paper to show how having justified true belief could still result in not having knowledge. Go ahead. In the first scenario, Gettier asks us to imagine Smith and Jones, who have both applied for the same job. Jones interviews first, then Smith has his interview. At the end of Smith's interview, the CEO of the company tells Smith that he will be hiring Jones. Smith also remembers that Jones has exactly 10 coins in his pocket. He saw Jones counting them earlier. So, based on all of this, Smith forms the following belief. The person who will get the job has 10 coins in his pocket. This is Smith's belief, and based on the evidence, Smith is perfectly justified in having this belief. Correct. However, the CEO comes out of his office and loudly claims that the job will be going to Smith, not to Jones. Okay, so Smith's justified belief was in fact false. No. 
See, Gettier asks us to imagine that Smith himself actually does have 10 coins in his pocket, he just completely forgot about them. But after the CEO congratulates him, he puts his hand in his pocket and realises he has 10 coins. Okay, so think about it. Smith's belief was justified and Smith's belief was true as the person who got the job did have 10 coins in his pocket. However, Smith did not know he would be getting the job. He had justified true belief that was not knowledge. This scenario shows that justified true belief cannot be a universal condition for knowledge. I see. Gettier then had a second scenario. Upon leaving the interview, Smith sees Jones driving off in a Ford. At the same time, Smith remembers his friend Brown, who once owned a Ford. But now, Smith has no idea where Brown is. So, Smith develops the following belief. Either Jones owns a Ford, or Brown is in Barcelona. Smith is justified in this belief, as he has seen Jones driving off in the Ford. As it happens, Jones is just hiring the Ford, he does not own it. And, by coincidence, Brown actually is in Barcelona. So, Smith's justified belief is again true, only Smith had no knowledge of where Brown was and he had no knowledge that Jones did not own the Ford, once again showing problems with the justified true belief approach. Yes, yes, I see. From this, many more scenarios have been developed showing the problems with the JTB approach. I do see how the Gettia problem poses a flaw for the justified true belief approach. However, in the two scenarios, Smith's beliefs are based on incorrect information and incorrect premises. Even though the belief was justified and true, it was reached based on a falsehood, namely that Jones would get the job and that Jones owns a Ford. We may be able to salvage the JTB theory if we change it slightly. In what way? We could say that any belief based on a false premise or even based on fallible information cannot be considered justified. Even though the belief is true and the justification seems right, the method in which the justification was met was based on false information. In order for the belief to be justified, it must be provided by infallible support. It cannot have any errors or falsehoods. This seems like too much of a rigid and narrow path to knowledge. What exactly do we mean by infallible support and how can we know what is false information while we are forming our beliefs? How many true beliefs have we developed as knowledge throughout our lives, even though we may have reached them through some false information? And surely, all justification for beliefs will have some element of fallibility. Even our senses are not infallible, so evidence we see with our eyes or hear with our ears would then not qualify as justification for belief. This would pretty much render all beliefs unjustifiable and all knowledge will be thrown out the window, opening the door to extreme scepticism. Hmm, good point. If you enjoy the Philosophy Vibe discussions and want to help support the channel, then please check out the Philosophy Vibe Anthology book set available on Amazon. These are a collection of our scripts compiled into three volumes, Philosophy of Religion, Metaphysics, and Ethics and Political Philosophy. A great read for anyone getting into philosophy or studying it academically. All purchases really help us out. The links are below. But that's all the time we have for now. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the vibe. And what does everyone else think? Is justified true belief the best method in defining knowledge? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share. And for more philosophical debates, please subscribe to the channel. Take care and we look forward to seeing you all soon.